Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to use 3D formulas in Microsoft Excel. So why would you use this? Now if you ever had maybe the same structure, sort of like this example I have right here on multiple sheets of the same structure and then maybe you wanted to give a total to them, I'm going to show you how to use a 3D formula that can quickly dynamically add them up so you don't have to go cell by cell. This is a great way to save yourself a lot of time even if you are a beginner to Microsoft Excel. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel, I'll put a link to all my videos down uh, below. You can just click on the playlist and see all the ones that are available in there. Now for using 3D formulas, so let me just talk about kind of the setup of this, uh, of the different sheets I have here and what I want to accomplish. Now I have different months and I just made some simple data to put in here with just, you can see I have uh, just different fruits and the sales here. And if I go through different months, I just have from February, April, and you can see to June. And I wanna be able to total them up over here. Now the reason I have March here, I'm going to use it later on in an example when I use the 3D formula to show you how great it works when making quick adjustments or adding adding uh, maybe a new sheet to it. Now you could do this the old way of if I wanted to click in a cell and use my equal sign and then go to each one so I could go to January, click on a cell, or if I knew it I could just type it in and then I could just go and go to my next one, February. But you can see if I was doing this over and over and then when you're done you could hit enter but if I had 20 30 or plus more sheets that would be painful and the thing is too if I all of a sudden I had to put in maybe this March one back into the middle I'd have to adjust my formula to fit that in and then that way you're not getting very efficient in the use of Microsoft Excel this is where the 3d formula comes in now with the 3D formula, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this and I'll show you how quickly this can be created. I'm gonna uh, reference, so the other thing to know that all my structure is the same in here too. Notice from January, February, everything's set up in the same cells. B2 is the same total for apples in each one. Um, and then if you look at my grand total, it's the same structure. And that's a very important thing to know when you're using uh, this formula, the structure has to be the same on those worksheets. Now, I'm just going to start it how we start a formula with our equal sign, just like this. I'm going to use the sum. So I'm just going to type in sum, not sun. And we'll just select this one. So now I'm just going to go to the first sheet, which is January over here, and select my cell here. And now this is where the magic happens with 3D uh, formula. Now I could go ahead and hold shift. So it's really important that you hold the shift key down uh, if I wanted it to be February. Now take a look at how this formula is changing up here, January to February, but I want it to be more than that. If I click on April, now it goes January to April and to May. But I don't have to do them all at once. So I can take these off. Notice as I click off them. But if I just click on the first one and I'm holding shift down and click on the last one, everything gets selected. And now it's a range of worksheets in there. It's going from January to June. So it's a lot easier for, to click on the first one and the last one. And then I can just go ahead and close this. And look at that, I have, uh, it went through and added up all those just by using this small formula, using this 3D formula uh, with the different worksheets on it. Now I can simply copy this down if I want to like this. And you can see, I'll just make a quick adjustment. So if I was making a change, we'll go to apples here and I'll make this uh, 50,000 here and I'll just hit enter. And here's the grand total, and you can see 52,427. I could format these with dollar signs for the example. I just wasn't worried about that today. But uh, so that's a quick way to adjust it and drag down. Now the great thing, remember earlier in the video I mentioned if we did it the other way where we were just adding cell by cell by cell, uh, if all of a sudden I needed to add March in, maybe March was delayed, I can grab March here and just drag it right into where it belongs. So now I put it after February, and if I go to my grand total, just to show you, because maybe the, the numbers didn't change much, but if I go to this March one, and I'll make my pineapple 50,000, hit enter, 
and go to the grand total, you can see now that pineapple is at 51,349. So it adjusted quickly. So this is a great thing to have if you if you uh, are adding those sheets in after. So this is the 3D formula in Microsoft Excel. Even if you're a beginner, you can see it wasn't a very long formula to add in there. And if you're working with multiple worksheets and the, everything set up in the same structure when you're referencing that range or the cells on it, it's going to save you a lot of time. So something I do suggest that you try if you notice that maybe uh, you have something like this set up and you can quickly add this formula and everything is going to work much more smoothly. So I hope you liked this uh, tutorial today on using uh, with Microsoft Excel and 3D formulas here. Let me know what you think if you uh, what let me know what you also want to learn in Microsoft Excel. Again, check out my playlist down below to uh, see if there's other things from there that uh, I can help you out with or but do let me know. So anyways, thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next week with more tech tips and tutorials.